legends are stories or anecdotes that are based on hearsay but are widely circulated as the truth and that's what we're going to be talking about today. Hey guys, welcome back to the most amazing top 5, I'm Courtney and Lee. Let's jump right into our list of the top 5 scary Walt Disney urban legends that might be true. Coming out number 5, Ashes. So apparently people who work at Disney have to constantly be on the lookout for people dumping ashes. And yes, I'm talking about actual human remains. Apparently it's not uncommon for people who have passed on to have asked their loved ones to dump their ashes on the grounds at Disneyland. Yeah, that's pretty eerie. A story about someone dumping their relatives ashes while on the Haunted Mansion ride made its way around the internet and ever since then apparently it's become more of a common thing. The park actually has a particular cleanup crew on standby for when this kind of thing happens. Illegally scattering human ashes is a misdemeanor, but it's kind of an easy thing to cover up, especially if you're on a ride. There was actually one woman who was caught in the act, but when questioned, she said that it was just baby powder and quickly left, basically leaving no way to prosecute her. And at number four, the seven dwarfs. So I'm sure you've heard this tale by now, but if not, words going around that the personalities of the dwarf characters in Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs represent the seven stages of cocaine addiction. Yeah, so apparently cocaine users often experience the following stages. Sleepy, grumpy, bashful, sneezy, dopey, and happy. Yeah, I guess they just kind of left Doc out of that one. But anywho, it's said that people go through these stages during the high and even during the withdrawal. So there is a chance that this might be real. A lot of people like to believe these characters weren't made up based off of drug effects, and I mean, I'd like to believe that too. There's even the fact that cocaine was highly illegal and not a drug of choice back when this film was made, so that helps to debunk it. But there's a lot of drugs that are illegal now and that doesn't stop people, so you never really know. Coming in at number 3, Candlelight. This one actually comes from our Disney Park Conspiracy Theory list. If you haven't checked out that list then make sure you do so after this video, it's really spooky. So this is both a conspiracy theory and an urban legend, it kinda balances on the edge of both. So I had to include it on this list too. So if you go to Disney a lot then you've probably noticed that on Main Street in the firehouse on the second floor there's always a light that's turned on. Well when Walt was alive he used to sit up there and watch as the families would pass by. He even set up a speaker so he could hear what they were saying because he wanted to make sure they were having a good time. This is also a place he liked to go to just relax, so he kind of turned it into his own personal little apartment. Well once he passed away it was said that his spirit stayed there. An old employee said that they were cleaning the area and dusting. As they left they naturally turned the light off. Once outside they noticed the light was back on. The employee then went back inside to turn the lights off again, but they turned back on once they were outside. And this actually happened a number of times. She swears that the last time she went up to turn the lights off she heard a voice say don't forget I'm still here. Eventually they just decided to leave the lights on as a tribute to Walt Disney. Or you know, that's what they say, but it's probably just for the fact that he won't let them turn them off. Coming in at our number 2 spot, All Connected. Now this urban legend comes from a lot of fan theories. So there was a really popular theory that made its way onto the internet back in 2013. And that was the theory that all Pixar movies exist in the same universe. And this theory really freaked out fans because it's entirely possible and we've all just been so oblivious to it all of these years. So as we know, Disney loves to kill off the parents, it's just a thing they do, we've accepted it. Except in Moana, they kept both her parents around, but then they did kill off the grandma, so yeah, that's not much better, but anyway. According to this theory, the death of Anna and Elsa's parents actually crosses over with two other hit films, which are The Little Mermaid and Tangled. So basically this theory states that the king and queen of Arendelle were on their way to Rapunzel and Eugene's wedding when their boat sank. And that sunken ship that's featured in The Little Mermaid is actually the king and queen of Arendelle ship. There it is. Isn't it fantastic? Yeah, sure, it, it's great. Now let's get out of here. Yeah, that's the one. Then in an alternative version of the Frozen theory, Anna and Elsa's parents never sank to the bottom of the ocean. Instead they actually washed up on shore of a jungle and the queen later gave birth to a baby boy and built a treehouse before getting eaten by a leopard. Sound familiar? So if this theory is correct then that means that Tarzan is Anna and Elsa's long lost brother. But we all know from watching Tarzan that his parents didn't give birth to him on the island so that theory got corrected real fast. But what makes this even more interesting is that Chris Buck, who is one of the co-directors of Frozen, actually put forth this theory himself. Yeah, that kinda messes with your mind. Maybe it's true. 
And at number one, Small World Hanging. Yeah, this one definitely made its way around the internet. So apparently in 1999, a girl and her family visited Disneyland. At the time, this girl was 12 and her sister was 6. They decided to go on the Small World ride, you know, as most children do. Towards the end of the ride, it just stopped out of nowhere and some of the lights suddenly shut off and then this caused the rear lights to illuminate the ceiling. The animatronic dolls and the moving displays shut off and then the crew members that were wearing red overalls walked along the boats to help the passengers exit the boats and help them onto the display to get them out of the building through the emergency exits. Outside, there were police and a fire truck waiting. A voice came on over the speakers and said, Disneyland thanks you for your visit. Please evacuate the attraction in an orderly fashion. Keep looking forward and follow the directions of the staff. Thank you. Now, I don't know about you guys, but if someone tells me to look forward, I'm going to find that a little suspicious. And I'm kind of going to glance around a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But in reality, it's probably to keep you from tripping. But I mean, you never know. And it appears this girl's mother is like me and she glanced around. She took some pictures of the crew and close-ups of the dolls. And then she snapped a few more random pictures. I mean, why not? You're on vacation, right? Okay, so as I said, this was back in the 90s. So they had to get the camera roll developed in order to see the pictures. Yeah, no iPhones back then. So once the pictures were developed, they came across this one, which was the last one on the roll. So clearly this looks like someone committed suicide. Someone in red overalls at that. Obviously Disney denies that this is an actual person. They say that it's just one of the dolls. But if that's true, then why did they just all of a sudden shut down the ride, have people evacuate, tell people to look forward, and have police and an ambulance outside? Some people have claimed this is a hoax, but I don't know, seems pretty real to me. Let me know what you think down below. All right, and there you have it. That's a list of the top five scary Walt Disney urban legends that might be true. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what other lists you'd like to see down below. Also, please show us some love by subscribing to our channel and giving this video a big thumbs up, and I will catch all of you in the next one.